What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're finally starting the brake and suspension uh, adjustments that I told you guys for a while that I was going to do on the GTI. <laughs> So the face texture now works, which is nice because I was kind of over the whole like focus on the background, not on me because I'm the subject of this film. Obviously, that you guys are watching. I've been talking about doing this brake job uh, for a very long time and uh, I wanted to make sure that I did everything correctly. My boy Sammy is here too. He just came out. Um, I actually did the first side myself already. Rinse are a little dirty, so don't judge. But they look so good. And the job took literally like 25 minutes. So I'm gonna show you guys, uh, not really step by step, because if you guys want to step by step, you guys can go ahead and watch Paul's video um, from Shop Dad. He's a little bit more intense than I am in that uh, regard. But um, I am gonna do this. It's simple and it makes a t world of a difference if you have the right tools. I actually went ahead and bought one of these like uh, drivers, like impact drivers and it works like a charm. Just make sure you have the right torx bit and uh, also get a good hammer and have a good fork wrench and also make sure you clean your calipers. So this is what the rotors are really gonna look like. They look really nice. I opted in for the slotted rotors. Um, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of cleaner and just kind of wipe these down just to get the excess uh, residue off of this. You always wanna make sure you do that because um, you don't want any of the uh, lubricants that are originally on here to get on the new brake pads and ruin the entire thing. If you have brake parts cleaner, it's actually a little bit easier. You don't have to wipe it down. I didn't get any. Here we go, some brake parts cleaner. Boy Sammy coming in clutch. Down like that. <laughs> She's all clean and ready to put on the car. Uh, so let's jack up the car and uh, start to get this project done. So I'll try to slow down that time lapse as much as I can, but having this thing is such a difference. I mean, I've done so many calipers, never on a Mark 7 or a Volkswagen, right? I don't think we've ever done a Volkswagen, but we've done it on a bunch of Hondas, and uh, I think I did it on my TC as well, and it was a pain in the butt because that thing would always strip out because I never had this tool. Now, granted, my car is fairly new. Sammy had a good point, but still, um, I do think that that makes a world of a difference uh, when you have the actual tool. So taking this off is pretty easy. Just take this one here and the one at the bottom. This I believe is a 13, but you have to hold it down with something over here so this can spin off. And then you have two uh, 21s back here that hold on the caliper. Once that's done, you pretty much just tap on the caliper itself with a hammer. Take that out, tap on the caliper itself with a hammer, and the whole thing comes out. Twenty-five minutes into just a few seconds of a time lapse. Um, we just finished the other side. I know I'm gonna hear it already, so I might as well just talk about it. I didn't put the car on jack stands, like I said before. My car has no back. I mean, my jack stand has no back wheels, so this thing sits perfectly flat to the floor. It's kind of like a jack stand. I feel like putting one of those signs. You, you know, it's like uh, prove me wrong or whatever, or. You know, the Yankees are better than the Mets. Prove me you're wrong. Like one of those things. Not getting political, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Carbon fiber looking sick. Also took off the wrap and then um, actually put the silver mirror caps on, which look really good, especially when the car is nice and clean. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sammy's car. I don't think I ever showed him, right? We wrapped the top of Sammy's car in a matte black color and it looks so good. It actually complements these pieces here and it's gonna complement the piece that's gonna go there, which, what is it? It's off of golf? The, the R-line. The R-line um, side over here so that the fog lights look so much better. We're ready for Waterfest, guys. If you guys didn't watch the last video, I am going to be at the Unitronic booth. So make sure you guys come say hello if you guys are gonna be at Waterfest. So if you're in the New York, PA, Maryland, Jersey. or at Jersey, any of the surrounding areas of Jersey, make sure you come down to Waterfest, make the, save the date. I think it's the 22nd and the 23rd of next month, July. So 
definitely 21st and 22nd okay it's 21st and 22nd i will be there both days um we will have some vip passes because we're cool like that so we're <laughs> we're gonna be first in line um yeah but other than that i mean i just gotta bed these brakes in so i'm gonna tighten everything down and then i'll meet you guys back at the car get this music out of the way so first things first after you finish a brake job you don't hit the brakes and you slam on the gas and try to go as fast as you can failed <laughs> just kidding um, I actually did something stupid with my Scion TC once and I did my brakes and uh, I forgot to uh, pump the brakes after I was done and I ended up doing a drift around that corner yes front wheel drive drifting it's more like a j-turn but whatever so we're gonna bed the surface here we're gonna go out for a quick drive and uh, do some quick stops Sammy don't get scared no. and get some food Ooh. You smell that? Yeah. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that pop. You smell that shit though. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's <laughs> <laughs> like rotted eggs. Damn! <laughs> there you go. Trying to bed the surface here. I'm like holding on to your camera for dear life. <laughs> I know, it's uh, it's like dark. Oh, I was gonna say open your sunroof. <laughs> My bad. I don't have a sunroof, you jerk. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do it a few more times here. On the dime, buddy. <laughs> hey, Smell that, eh? Yeah. Smell the brake dust. It's a good time to do it right now, though, because. Oh, that stinks, man! Woo! Smells like Weibo Splash! <laughs> they don't know about that. Ooh. It stops on the dime, yeah, though, buddy. Like... Woo! It stops on the dime! Feels good. Oh, yeah. That should be good enough. Yeah. Now, let me let them cool down. All right, so you want what you want to do is you want to drive to about 50 to 60 miles an hour and then just slam on the brakes. Make sure there's nobody behind you, or if there's somebody behind you, make sure it's a motorcyclist that you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Deuces. <laughs> 